beast of the east. Jack Burford Chevrolet presents Race Week at the Richmond Raceway in Richmond, Kentucky. Here's your host in all things racing, Bill Lupino. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Race Week. Bill? Yes. We're going to start the show off just different. Let's recap Some Gave All. Yes, because last week's show, as we mentioned, yeah, exactly. was filmed right. in advance before mm -hmm. we ran the Some Gave sure. All. So we right. didn't have any of this information because right. it hadn't happened yet. The, so. producer, the producer went on vacation, sorry. Yes. So <laughs> I'm like, you're yeah, the only good. one man. It's all good. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, Some Gave All, okay. um, the uh, General Tire... All-Star Circuit Champion TQ Midgets were in town. Yeah. Um, they actually brought us 13 cars. They had one gentleman that owns four that had motor issues that couldn't come. Okay. They had another one that has two that their hauler broke down on the way down. So it right. was a limited field. Sure. But they put on a good show. I mean, they were all over the track using the whole, whole everything. That's right. Yeah. You know, the heat races, I think the one the guy started last and won, another one he was like... Started fourth or fifth and one. Okay. And, okay. you know, they put on a good show. They're all over the track. It was fun. I know they yeah. want to come back. We'd love to have them back. Right. Uh, did have one little incident where a gentleman going into turn three, his steering wheel came off, and he ended up going face first up into the guard railing. Ouch. Went up and that's flipped not, over and all that's that. That's not good. Nope. No, but safety crew got right out there, got him out. He was good. fine. He good. was good. Excellent. Um, Matthew Hedrick was the winner. Okay. Um, so, you know, he, he did a good job. It was fun. Excellent. Uh, the Sonic Super Late models were running, 2,000 to win. Okay. And that was a great show. Um, yep. Justin Ratliff in the 16 from, uh, I believe he's in Campbellsville, Kentucky. He led the first 29 laps of 30. And they got into some lap traffic. And Derek Fisher, defending track champion, 38 car, uh, got up around him. Right. With all the lap traffic going on. And coming out of turn four, they came to the line like this. Okay. And Derek won by 0 0.026 seconds. So wow. it was very close. Wow, that's uh, very yeah, close. Got a nice picture of it. And, you know, it was a good yes, show. Yes, because I know I like the pictures yes. right here. <laughs> yep. Then our Eagle Finance UMP Modifieds okay. uh, were also on the show that night. And uh, we gave the provisional to the big AMS race in July. Right. Uh, Victor Lee won that. And I okay. found out talking to his, his guys down there in Victor Lane. It was the first Sunday out with a brand new car. So, you know, that okay. was, you know, Sweet. come out with a brand new car nice. and you win. Yeah, it's always I, good. It's always good. And then the Air Bodies, Caterie Super Stocks, uh, Tyler Hayes, who was a previous track champion in the four-cylinder division, moved up to the Super Stocks, okay. I believe, last year. And this was his first win in Super Stocks. So, Got it. Okay. So, you know, he came out and put on a show there and won Excellent. the course. Uh, also, folks, all the race results are on your website. Yes. What is that? www.richmond-raceway.net It's chock full yes. of race results, <laughs> pictures, points. I mean, everything, everything. and anything that you want to know. It's a very um, uh, graphic website, and it has all the greatest yes. information on there. So go there. Use that as the clearinghouse. And, of course, you always do a great job on Facebook and Twitter as well. Yep, we try to. Yep. Try to keep it up. Yeah, Absolutely. my son actually updates um, all of the results and the points on there right. right through the system that he uses to score. So cool. usually we cool. get those up by Sunday, late afternoon, sure. early evening. Sure, Because you have other duties you have to do before oh, you get exactly. to that. But sure. we do get it up right then and there. Excellent. So. Okay. Uh, talk about... Talk about this last weekend. I'm going to turn it over. Oh, here. well, this weekend was a mess. Um, yeah. that's, that's, what, that's what he said. So, you know, we had the big storms come in, you know, like yep. Thursday and all that. Right. And we had some bottom of the track water and, you know, we pumped it mm -hmm. out and, you know, kind of knew the track wasn't going to be the best because sure. of that, but we were going right. to work through it. But Friday night, we uh, took our American Racer South Super Sex yes. Series over to Mountain Motorsports Park okay. in Isom. Uh, ran a program over there. Cool. Um, we had 20. Super Sox show up. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. Jason Hall, who's a regular at that way, won won the race. And okay. Logan Preston is currently a point leader for that series. So, you right. know, we were over there Friday night. We got back about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Uh, got up, got to work on Saturday. Thought sure. we were going good, you know, putting some water yeah. on track, doing our thing, doing what we were doing. Right, right. And as we got to, I have to say it was like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, I was doing a truck of water mm -hmm. and truck died going down the back stretch. Just never a good sign. No, 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 no. Full charcoal water, too. So, because mm -hmm. I just started the pump and got going. Yeah, but, right. uh, 
you know, everybody's coming out looking at it and trying to figure out what it was and it took a while to figure out. And they figured out it was the timing chain that broke. So the truck was down for the night. Mm-hmm. So um, Ed Long, who is our wrecker operator, he right. came out with his four-wheel drive Suburban, hooked a chain up to it. Right. Drove me around the track, pulling right. a water truck. Right. So we emptied it, pumped it out. Kept, pumped it out. Kept, at least dude, got that. Got that on got there. Got that on know, there. So right. I appreciate that. You know, sure. we got to try. Excellent. And, you know, got to pull it back into the pit. Sure. And then uh, the Topless Outlaw Series guys that were there were not happy that we couldn't get the water on the bottom of the track like mm-hmm. we wanted to. But we had let, been letting that sit more during the day because it was really soft from all the it, rain we it got. It was, right. So we were kind of waiting on that towards Which the end. Which is always the concern. Yes. Yeah, we, we were waiting on that till the sure. end because turn one and turn four were soft. And you don't okay. really want to drive down there and do stuff and put too much. Right. And so, you know, we were trying to work through it. Mm-hmm. But anyhow. So, you know, he had dry spots, couldn't get any more water on there. Mm-hmm. sun was out. It was what it was. They got their drivers together, and they refused to run on what they called a two-dry racetrack. So, got with us, and, you know, my wife and I discussed it, and it's like, you know, the travelers, followers that they did bring with them, we paid them each $200, just Good. basically for Good. coming in, Excellent. travel money. Sure. Refunded their pit passes, refunded everything to them, and right. let them right. load up and leave. Okay. So, you know, I'm not happy about that. I wasn't sure. happy about that. Right. You know, it was what it was. Could have run. They chose not to. Right. So we got our support class guys together, our Eagle okay. Finance UMP modified guys, everybody, Katie, our super stock guys, asked mm-hmm. them if they wanted to run anyway because couldn't do any more water. Unanimous, yes. Sure. So We're, we're like, here. Okay. Let's yep. race. <laughs> so, right. you know, we kind of switched up a little bit. Normally, you do the hot lap qualifying together in one session. We gave them all hot laps separately, qualified them. Two heat races each, even though the car count was soft, which normally would have put them in the one with what the sure, car counts were, sure. but give them the track right. time, run right. the features. Uh, Jimmy Crabtree won the Modifieds, and uh, Alan Hackworth Jr. won the Super Stocks. Okay. So, you know, that was that was good, good racing. Track held up. It wasn't dusty at all. Right. But uh, at the end of the night, we had so much time because of curfew being, you know, we, exactly. we had no cars and had right. nothing yeah. on. Uh, some guys used track for about an hour after, did some testing. Anybody okay. that asked, we let them go out. And, and what time of, was that? What time was that? God, it was probably 8, 30, 9 o'clock. It wasn't yeah. even totally okay. dark yet. You're right. Okay. So, Good. yeah, we were actually inside by like 1030, which wow. normally we don't okay. get inside until like 230 in the morning. Yeah, exactly. But, no uh, you know, was what it was. So, okay. you know, kind of a messy night and, uh, you know. We'll move on to the next one. Well, and the thing is, you know, time and chain breaks. That's about it. I mean, what else are you going to do? Couldn't really do much. You don't have a spare water truck. Well, we have we have one, but it can't do what this one can do because this one actually Not sprays the same out the side. Right. And, you know, you drive around and spray it off on the side. Right. The gotcha. other one kind of feeds out of the back. Right, and it's got a blown out inside tire, so we use, different we mechanisms use that, to do that just right. for around the pit and some different things, and right. sure. it just wasn't going to be able to do what the other one was going to do. So exactly, you know, it just kind of was what it was. And you know, in the past, we would call Waco Fire Department, sure, but exactly. they were running the truck and tractor pull, so they oh, were not right. available because right. that was their event. Exactly. So right. you know, we kind of were pursuing every option we sure. had, and sure. we really didn't have any. Right. So, but I do appreciate our guys that were there. Oh, for the sport classes running. You like know. you said, you're there. Why yep. not race? Yep. Go ahead. I mean, you know, we would have refunded everything and let them go home, right. but they all wanted to run. They so, you know, we run. paid the full payout okay. that we advertised, like we always do. Cool. You know, didn't hold back or say no one's here, so we're not paying you. We didn't do that. We would not do that. Right. And you know, move on to the next one. Excellent. Okay. And I know <laughs> uh, some other sad news that you yes. wanted to talk about too. Yes, we. Uh, you know, we always have the kettle corn. Yep. And we always have Benny. Right. And Benny's right. great guy. Kettlecorn's fantastic. And he was with us a few weeks back and okay. then found out that he wasn't feeling well. He went to the doctor, right. got right. diagnosed with leukemia. And I believe cancer is stage four or something. I don't wow. really have all of the wow. I don't need right. all of the details, but sure. they said he basically had like two weeks to live and wow. didn't even make it the full two. So we wow. did lose Benny. I'd say which is sad. Our condolences yes. uh, to him and the family. So Definitely. that's that's a that's a shock. Definitely. Uh, so, like I said before, all the race results are on their bill on on the website. Yes. Okay. Facebook, Twitter. Um, so, tell us what else you got coming up. Do you still have t-shirts for sale? We still have t-shirts. Okay. So uh, we still have some of the Finn Watson shirts okay. also available right. too. Uh, Arizona sports shirts, like we sure. always mention up there in Indiana, did a great job on all okay. of them. Still have them available. Still have hoodies. 
Right. Uh, you know, want to thank all of our sponsors that, you yep. know, help us out. And, you absolutely. know, the local people, Snappy Tomato Pizza sure. and Eagle yeah, Finance absolutely. and all these right. guys are great. Right. You know, it's kind of funny because right up here, it's kind of like we have a little sponsor row. Because yeah, we, I know. It's true. You know, yeah. we're involved with O'Reilly and they're exactly. right there. Right. And Snappy Tomatoes right yeah, there. It's and right Sonic's up there, right all there. On the Coyote's right there. Right, right. Hatfield Insurance is right yep, there. It's like right. all our little sponsors are all right in a row. And so across the way is Jack yeah. Burford. So yeah. it's all like one <laughs> cluster. Yeah. yeah, so it's kind of cool. Okay, but, you that's know. really sweet. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, Bill, does that wrap us up for the week? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. You know, next set schedule is June 19th. We'll get okay. into that more next week. Exactly. What all that's right. going to be going on and what we're going to be doing and what okay. our plans are. But, you know, we're going to get the water truck fixed and, you know, kind of move and on just from there. Go from and there. Dodge this it's rain a this different week. And week. Every week, folks. Yes, we are off June twelfth. It is right. the dream up at Eldora. Oh yes, yes. Yes. Talk about um, that. I mean, Eldora is Eldora. It's you yeah. know, one of the best tracks in the country by right. far. The right. dream is huge event. You know, a lot of the people in the area, mm -hmm. fans and drivers, like to go sure. up and watch sure. and enjoy. And this year, they're running two dreams because oh, last two year COVID took, oh, COVID, so they actually oh, so they didn't race. ran the okay. stream last year because it was Got only online. Right. This year is two dreams. Uh, I think. The first one last year's makeup's like 126,000 a win, okay. and the second okay. one's like, I believe, 127,000 a win. Wow. So, wow. I that's, hope everybody goes up, has fun, watches good. it. Right. We're going to watch it on TV and, sure. you know, kind of chill this weekend and relax. And I hope everybody enjoys Eldora. And then next week, we'll preview the 19th and we'll keep That'd on going great. from there. All right. Folks, watch next week. Go to the website, Facebook, follow them on Twitter, Richmond Raceway Net, dot net. And, or Richmond Raceway KY dot net. Am I correct? Uh, Is Richmond that correct? Dash Raceway dash dot Raceway net. Dot net. Yep. I know it's and, in there. Just search it, you'll find it. <laughs> and then Facebook's Richmond Raceway <laughs> KY exactly. and Twitter's right. the same. And website. of course, all the links are there, all the information's there. Yep. And, and we and always have to thank like Ken that. Short to Eight Designs for our awesome posters. Yes, they are. Last awesome. week, he was working hard. Every time we got a right. driver confirmed, he put them on the driver card that we got right. out there. And you know, he does a great job for us. And right. you know, I'm be in touch with him here to get Absolutely. some stuff going for next week, right. too. And thanks for the graphics. Yes, definitely. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week on Jack Burford Chevrolet's Richmond Race Week. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Bill. Got it. <laughs>